Well, it's said that variety is the spice of life, but how spicy do you like it? The variety of people we all have to work with throughout our lives is abundant, and most of us can empathise with Thomas Mitchell's piece in the Sydney Morning Herald about those special ones that really challenge us and help us to grow. <laughs> Now, in this article, um, the, I loved it because it was so honest about how raw and how, how much he actually hated the colleague that he worked with. <laughs> but have you ever had someone that you've really sort of hated going to work for or to work with? Mm. I, I haven't had a lot of professional experience, obviously. I've, I've, you ladies are lovely, so I've never had any problems there. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Thank, no problem. Thank yeah. goodness. As we're sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I've had some shockers in group assignments at university, people that don't put in any effort to the last minute, are just generally obnoxious, don't really want to be there. Well, how do, how do I deal with this situation, you know? Almost sound like mm. a working style difference. Yeah. And, mm. you know, <laughs> uni students are going to end up becoming workers, so you're going to have to work Yeah, like they're already in it is what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it is, it is a challenge to work with someone who has a different style, but then there's working with someone who's just an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> you said it already. Let's do it. It's too late now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. no, I think it can be really challenging because you spend the most of your, the bulk of your day um, at work with your colleagues, like more than your family. So I think it's hard when you have a colleague, especially ones that specifically and intentionally like make it their duty to get under your skin, you know, and to just make your life really hard. But I think the important thing, well, you know, usually when I get into this situation, there's just two things. One is that when you leave work, don't let it bother you. Because but it's really hard. You're such a better person than we are. Mike. Yeah, oh, <laughs> you are yeah. a way better person no, than I am. It's because I want to enjoy my life outside yeah. of work. So compartmentalizing your life yeah. that helps. Would yeah. you say is that is that always possible though? I feel like emotionally, if I was affected at work, it'd be very difficult to just well, shut it can off. Really you know? play on your mental health because, as you said, it's a really big part of your life. There were some suggestions in the article. One was don't let your emotion dictate your response, and that can be really hard for someone like me who's incredibly emotional and I'm always going to probably bring sarcasm to the. <laughs> to the table. <laughs> but um, the second one was make, um, make conflict work for you. Heck, how do you do that? Make conflict work for you? What does that even mean? We'll find the positives in the it differences just, between each other. It feels like politics, like that, that piece of advice. You know, I'm going to tell you something honest that happened to me. There was a colleague, and it might sound a bit cheesy, but I remember having this colleague who, you know, we kind of would butt heads a bit, and I feel like I'd come into work early, and then the next day she'd come in earlier, and it was just this back and forth. Mm -hmm. And one day I remember looking at her and feeling like, you know, God, Jesus died for you as well. And um, it totally, it was as though it was whispered inside of my head, and it mm -hmm. sounds cheesy now recounting it, but that's literally what happened and I kind of just changed my perspective on, on our relationship. Mm. That, that, to a certain tech that was what I was going to say as well is in the sense that you know at the end of the day God loves everyone. He does. God does everything mm. and he's in charge as well so if, if you're frustrated that they're not doing whatever yep. God's going to be in charge. Look, I've it? always maintained that you can learn as much from someone you like and respect as someone you don't. It depends on what you take from it. Mm.